following lecture is brought to you by the boot camp subcommittee of the committee on resident education of the society of neurological surgeons welcome to the first module drilling burr holes and bone dissection the first part is the equipment overview using the high speed drill safely requires knowing how to assemble it. The base of the drill is connected to the drill bit holder. The drill bit is then placed inside the holder and screwed clockwise such that it is securely in place. The lock mechanism must be checked to ensure the drill bit is locked. When dissecting through the bone, it is important to know anatomically the three portions of bone. Initially, there's cortical bone, which is seen here, followed by a thick portion of cancellous bone, followed by the inner cortex. It's important to know these anatomical structures, what they look like and what they feel like when you are using the drill as they will provide the most feedback when performing a burr hole. You can see here, using the matchstick to go through the cortical bone and how it feels. Typically, it has a much more rigid feel than the cancellous bone. You can see here drilling through the cancellous bone is much more friable, gives much less feedback when performing a burr hole. You can see here the outer cortical bone being drilled, providing access to the cancellous portion. It is important to maintain control of the drill bit at all times when performing these burr holes. You can see here the cortical bone being undercut. It is also important to know how to use the acorn drill bit, which is frequently used when performing the initial burr hole. You can see here the acorn bit is best used in a circular motion. The goal here is to thin the bone out such that it is nearly transparent. This can also be called eggshelling. You can see here that it is nearly translucent and down to wafer thin cortical bone. Here is a different view using the acorn. Again, best utilized in a circular motion tailored to the size of burr hole needed. You can see here control of the drill bit is critical at every step, receiving feedback as the burr goes through cortical bone into cancellus and then into the inner cortical surface. It is also critical to know how to use a matchstick for performing burr holes. The matchstick is typically used when a smaller burr hole is warranted or in more confined spaces. You can see here again, circular motion is utilized as the matchstick goes through the outer cortical bone, through the cancellous bone, down to the inner cortical surface. Perforator drill bit is a mainstay in performing craniotomies, particularly when speed is needed. The perforator is placed perpendicular to the bone and applied with pressure downwards. 
the drill bit will automatically stop when the burr hole is completed and the drill bit has gone through the inner cortical surface. Irrigation is used to remove bone dust and visualize the completed burr hole.